Hello and welcome to another episode of Hooks and Dice. I'm Lila Kroka. Uh, went to the con last week. It was a flop. Terribly organized. Um, we hardly had anybody coming through to the table. And she did make a fair amount of money, she being the lady that ran the table. But not enough to her satisfaction. I won't get into that too much. Just going to say that it wasn't terribly productive for her but I got a lot of great pictures of Congoers and I got a commission for a Cthulhu Flamingo that's what I got so far <laughs> oh, she wanted green and pink legs so these are this is one of the legs I mean there we go yeah it's kind of fun making my own pattern. Had to scour the internet for a way to make the neck curve the way I wanted to without having to use wire or pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners wouldn't have been strong enough for this big a bird anyway, but um, you can see kind of it's a little lumpy, but it does have the curve, so I'm rolling with it. Hopefully the client will like it. She's paying me $35 for it, which is pretty nice. And then uh, there's supposed to be another couple that wanted to commission a giant Cthulhu kitty, but I haven't heard from them, so I don't know if they <laughs> still want it or not. <clears throat> You'll have to forgive me, I'm a little froggy this morning. You can tell that it's fall because my joints are all stiff. It's hard for me to <laughs> work my hands and everything's sore, but I love the fall. It's my favorite time of year. And Halloween this year happens to fall on a Monday, so we're going to have a special Halloween episode. That'll be fun. I'm going to make my costume. Uh, I'm just going to be a kind of a, a dark fairy without the wings. So, I don't know. It'll be fun, whatever it is. Um, I'm making myself a black and gr uh, blue tutu. And then I'm wearing... I'm just going to get all decked out in my jewels and... Um, black gloves and you know just really doll myself up so it'll be a lot of fun and then I'm gonna be handing out candy this year which is nice because I love to hand out candy in the past few places I've lived um, they were apartments so people didn't come trick-or-treating so now that we live in a house I can actually pass out candy that'll be fun I'm gonna try and stock up on some candy here and there so that Omar doesn't freak out and say, oh my gosh, you spent so much money on candy. No, but I, I want to have a lot of candy that I can hand out. That'll be fun. Wednesday game, progressing nicely. Um, I don't remember a lot of it. I was exactly exhausted when I came back from the con. I probably should have asked for notes from our DM, but I do know that... Uh, Well, I'm trying to think now. It was this week. Mm -hmm. This week, uh, we were fighting some critters that I can't remember what they're called, but they're evil seahorse thingamabobs that are spread disease and plague. And ooh, they're gross. And I smashed some to pieces. I think two, possibly three, that I just wailed on them with my hammer and three strokes they were dead or very close to dead so that was awesome that was fun to powerhouse again because back in the early days of the game that's where skull crusher got its name because i was just wham smash them to pieces <laughs> oh i love being a paladin she's you know the sword is supposed to be the preferred weapon but i love my hammers gotta say it i love my war hammers uh, let's see. Friday game is insane. <laughs> That's the best way to put it, is it's insane. <laughs> On Friday, we um, went through the third district. I remembered this time. We went through the third district of Absalom because uh, Tommy's character is trying to become a goddess. And they the theme was uh fire you know that was the element for that district and then perseverance so they had to go through a set of 20 houses 
and each house had a pool of blood in which they had to bathe in order to find a key to the maze that she would eventually have to enter to become a goddess. And Aaron, Stephen's character, tried one house, failed, and he's like, that's it. Nope, I'm done. <laughs> and who can blame him? I mean, it's unicorn blood. <laughs> that they're having to wade through to find these keys. And uh, we played it out that Tommy's character ended up finding all of them, but she first wanted to persevere so hard she almost died because her body was going to give out and she didn't want food, she didn't want drink, she didn't want sleep, and they basically said, look, you got to be able to survive in order to persevere. So, you know, they made her rest and... That, that was a fun game. I, I For me, it was fun. I thought it was fun. I don't know if they, if they thought it was fun. I can never tell because it's such madness, my game. But there's a method to my madness, and hopefully they'll enjoy that. Oh, let's see. Crocheting. Uh, the mermaids that I was doing. You know, I got all the tails done. Well, this yarn says no dye lot. But it is a creamy color of white rather than regular white. So the yarn didn't match what I had on the bodies. So I couldn't finish the mermaids. I tried one and it looked heinous. It looked like someone had dirty hands and played with the ears. It was just horrible and I was so upset about it. So I'm going to have to either undo the white parts of the mermaid bodies and redo them with this color or go find another white and pray that it matches the mermaids. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, excuse me. I just don't even... I don't know what the heck happened there. I bought the same brand, I bought the same color, and it said no dye lot, so I shouldn't have had to worry about it, but... Lo and behold, so I have this big skein of white that I have to find a use for. Um, like I said, I'll probably undo the bodies, and, and, well, just the white portion of them, and redo them in this color so that I can finish them up, because I do want to finish up these mermaids and not have all that work have gone to waste. <sighs> Let's see. Um, I sold the two small Cthulhu kitties. And I sold two of the mermaids that had been finished in the proper color. So um, that was good for me. I was glad that people liked them. Uh, I'll probably put the mermaids on Etsy. The mini fairy did not sell. So there's a certain future mother-in-law who gets that. <laughs> so... Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have two regular black-haired mermaids left. And hardly any of the candy sold. It's a different crowd, I guess, because in Idaho it sold like hotcakes, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's see, Sunday games are pretty much on hold for a while. Um, but the Monday game is coming up tomorrow. We've got one player who's got some personal difficulties that's making that's preventing him from playing so hopefully our fourth player can join us today otherwise we're not gonna have a game again so cross fingers hopefully they'll be here to play anyway that's all I've got for today so thanks for watching and have a great day